Yo, what's up, Fakafano? Welcome to the uh, seventh episode of uh, Fishmas. From now on, it's going to be all trout related. I've stopped doing uh, anything outside of that, and these next six videos are all going to be to do with trout fishing, which is what I'm based on. Um, but anyway, I've got six videos in six days. I've kind of left Fishmas to the last six days and uh yeah it's down to the wire so um today's video is uh my top five flies that will work anywhere in new zealand i can almost guarantee you that these flies will work anywhere in new zealand any river you go to um these flies should work and if they don't then uh either the fish isn't eating or the fish is on a specific hatch um insect hatch so but if you go around New Zealand, anywhere in New Zealand, these five flies are a must, are a must have to have in your fly box. Um, there is also variants of these flies that I'm about to show you that that will may increase the um, strike rate, but overall, these flies should do the business. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So number five on my list, is, uh, is we're starting off with a wet fly and that is the black woolly bugger this bad boy uh, will probably if you just took this bad boy around every single lake probably every single river and just strip this through some nice looking pools and uh, some really you know fishy looking places along lake edges through weed beds this bad boy will probably catch you a fish. Um, I would put money on actually if you fish this right with the right presentation and um, yeah, in the right time and the right moment, this bad boy right here will do the damage. So, number five on my list is Black Woolly Bugger. For number four on my list, we have the Royal Wolf. Oh, oh man, this, this thing's been hammered. The Royal Wolf. This bad boy is probably my second favourite behind the number two fly that I'm about to show you. Uh, it's my second favourite dry fly. Um, my first fish on a dry fly was on one of these bad boys. Um, basically, I have fished these all around the North Island. I haven't actually fished the South Island, so I can't vouch for the South Island, but I have seen videos of people catching fish on one of these bad boys. Um, they're a great fly. They seem to float very well. They can they can handle probably a three millimeter bead to maybe four millimeter bead tungsten tungsten bead nymph hanging under it. Um, the fish seem to love it. They they I've seen fish swing meters to hit one of these bad boys. So for that reason, this is number four on my must have. Now number three for our must have flies in New Zealand is this little fella right here I don't know how well you guys can see that but this is just a simple gold bead here in copper this bad boy will do the business for you he um it is probably my go-to fly if I have if I'm fishing uh, a new river I'll chuck on most probably a gold bead here in copper and uh, put it through some likely places. I've, I can't count or probably think of how many fish I've caught on this nymph alone. It's, um, yeah, it's, in my opinion, is probably the best nymph you can get in New Zealand, but for that reason, this is number three on my list. Now, number two on my list is this little fella right here I don't know how well you guys can see that but this is a parachute Adams this fly is the perfect representation of a, of a mayfly um, or pretty much anything that's on top of the water unless it's a cicada in New Zealand um, I have seen fish just go nuts over little things on the the water and i and you can't really identify them but you can see the fish rising 
and my very first go-to if I'm just fishing a um, if I'm just fishing a, a dry my first go-to is a parachute Adams dropped them is the parachute Adams I believe this is a size 14 and that's my favorite size for dry flies actually but um yeah and probably nine times out of ten they'll hit it if they're rising so hooking fish that are rising kind of uh, you know off the surface is the reason this is my number two it's a little bit more exciting than, than nymph or wet lining you know seeing the fish come out for these little bad boys it's just incredible and for that reason that is my number two fly you must have in New Zealand now number one on the list this was hard I actually wanted to be a heron copper but if I had to give if somebody said to me what is one fly that you could fish with for the rest of your life this little bad boy here would be it this is a simple gold bead pheasant tail with the, this one's got a little bit of uh, hair as the thorax but it, you can change it, it you know people put peacock under it people put um, synthetic uh, fibers under it my personal preference is uh, hair um, but uh, here's here's here <laughs> um, or rabbit okay rabbit uh, that's my personal perf that is my personal preference is to put here as the thorax but this fly here I can tell you right now has to be in your fly box it 100% has to be if you forget every other fly put in pheasant tails doesn't matter I, I prefer with the gold bead because I like my my nymphs close to the ground but with the gold bead I just think it gives that extra extra take um, increases your your take uh, chances so this fly is honestly the only fly you probably need if you come into New Zealand and so for that reason that is my number one fly okay team so yeah if you're looking to come to New Zealand make sure you have those five flies in your fly box because I swear on my life you will definitely definitely hook into some some beautiful fish around the whole of New Zealand if you are from overseas and you're wanting to have a guide hit me up I'm happy to suss something out but most of the time I'm not available because I work uh, a lot <laughs> and uh, so I'm pretty much uh, just just let me know okay but if if you want to guarantee yourself a guide in the eastern region of New Zealand make sure you guys hit up Rotorua Trout Guide or his name's Julian Danby that guy knows his stuff he's amazing he's the best Rotorua guide you've got my word you'll have an awesome time make sure you hit him up he's don't look at any other Rotorua guide they're yeah he is the best out of all of them if you are looking around the rest of the country I don't know a lot of guides around the rest of the country but um, go to the New Zealand trout app I think it is and they have a whole bunch of guides that you guys can choose from but anyway team good luck hopefully this has helped you a little bit um, if it has make sure you smash that like button and right now hit that subscribe button that big red thing if you hit that subscribe button you'll probably start catching more fish so yeah anyway guys thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next episode which is going to be me tying my favorite pheasant tail fly which uh some of you guys might be interested in and then you don't have to go and buy them but yeah thank you all for watching stay tuned heaps of videos four more after this i think four five more so five more after this cheers guys i'll uh, catch you next time